Modern businesses are powered by online cloud applications that unlock immense value for the customers. However, modern applications are prone to failures that can be devastating for businesses, not to mention frustrating for customers. Imagine a user of an e-commerce app eagerly trying to claim a deal only to end up on a never-ending load screen instead? A pretty bad impression, right? To understand what just happened, let's peek behind the scenes into the world of cloud services. Here is a model of how a typical cloud service operates. The service receives requests from users or other services. These requests are typically processed for a few milliseconds, during which the service parses the request, calls other services if required, and finally, forms the response. Once the response is ready, it is sent back to the user. Making a request to a service is like dining at a restaurant where you place a food order and you wait for it to be served while it is being prepared in the kitchen. A service can typically process several requests concurrently and respond to each within a reasonable time. Similar to a limited number of tables at a restaurant, there is no limit to the number of requests a service can process at any given time. This is called the concurrency limit of a service. Pending requests queue up in front of the service once the concurrency limit is exceeded. End users perceive this as the service becoming unresponsive, which may cause them to press the refresh button or give up altogether. As the request rate keeps increasing, the queue grows to the point that the service can no longer serve any request in a reasonable time. At this point, all users experience the service as being unavailable. This feels like waiting for an indefinite period of time to receive your food at a restaurant because of a big backlog in the kitchen as they accepted too many orders. For users, this is a frustrating experience. For business owners, it leads to lost revenue and unhappy customers. And this happens all too often in the world of cloud applications as we hear stories of prolonged outages every other day. To solve this problem, Flux Ninja is introducing Aperture Flow Control System that gracefully degrades the service by rejecting excess requests while serving as many requests as possible without causing a slowdown. Aperture agents are installed in the request path of the service where they auto-adjust the number of allowed requests based on live service health and request telemetry signals. In addition to protecting the services from slowdown, Aperture ensures that important requests are prioritized to help maximize user experience. Service operators can define workloads with different priorities in Aperture. For instance, workloads can differentiate between subscribed and guest users. The Aperture agent maintains multiple queues for each workload and fairly schedules the requests based on their priority and size. This ensures that during an overload, important workloads are given a greater share of services resources while ensuring fair access to users within a workload. This is similar to how airlines provide better quality of service to business class flyers. But it is still challenging to figure out how many requests to reject since finding the concurrency limit of a service is not that straightforward. Letting in too many requests can lead to an outage, while letting in too few leads to wasted capacity. Given the dynamic nature of cloud services, this is an ever-changing, elusive target. This sophisticated target tracking is automated by Aperture Controller, which acts as the brain of the system. The controller's automation is similar to an autopilot in modern aircraft. Just like how an autopilot maintains the heading and altitude despite changing weather conditions, Aperture Controller automatically adjusts the optimal request rate based on live telemetry signals collected from the service, continuously ensuring that the service doesn't slow down despite excess requests. But unlike aircraft autopilot, every cloud application has different control requirements. Control automation in Aperture is composed of building blocks that process signals and take actions. By customizing Aperture, service operators can express sophisticated escalation and recovery policies to protect services from sudden loads, block abusive users, switch off application features, or auto-scale services. As a business operator, with Aperture by your side, you can make sure you deliver a high-quality experience to your customers. Learn more about the Aperture Open Source Project at www.fluxninja.com and join our developer community.